I went to the ULIS protest, even though I turned off about three hours late, it was still quite an impressive turnout. Uh, quite a lot of people were still there, still voicing their concerns. In one of the clips, you can actually see a brown car guy. Had I recognized him, uh, I would have said hi. Let's have a look at uh, what happened in the protest. All right, so just exited Tottenham Court Road Station. So about a 15, 20 minute walk. Protest. It's a fantastic turnout, both sides of the street. Not able to walk through, the police have uh, cornered off one of the roads, but they've given an alternative, so we're going to cross over here. A couple of signs that are less complimentary of, of Sadiq. So we still have this issue of the car, the protest car, that's not bothering anybody. I wonder what they're going to do, so if the guy's on top of the car, they can't remove it. And the removal vehicle is blocking everybody and causing traffic and causing pollution and causing chaos. Is it necessary? Is this the way to handle this? Hey. Yeah. yeah, I mean, literally, the officer is creating a scene. Oh, yeah, so give a warning, give him heat, and say, look, if you don't move your vehicle, there will break someone. But the fact you need to do that, therefore, you are breaking the law. Is this the way to, to handle this? It's gone up and said, if you don't move your vehicle, then we're going to catch it. You need to do that. You need a warning. You need to come and do this. Yes, now that's the procedure. The procedure is you order for it. Get car out. 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 I'm here uh -huh. for all these people. You know, uh, met somebody last night. She's got four grandchildren in the middle of the mile with autism. She can't take them on a bus. Okay. You know, have a bus on that. Sorry, I've done my bit of cycling. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Now me 70s, but what do you need? What are you supposed to do? Yeah. Cycling. Yeah, exactly. To do the shopping on the bike. Basket on the back, basket on the front. Bung it all in. Nowadays, you couldn't even leave your bike outside the supermarket oh, without nicked. bloody saddle being nicked or something. OAPs who might use their car twice a week, you know, to yeah. go shopping with dogs to go it's wrong. That's a lot of money, really, for a lot of people. It's too much. It's wrong. It's, yeah. We're talking about freedom and control here, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you got the ULIS first, yeah. and then it's going to be... They're, all, they're saying it's, it's not going to happen, but it's going to be paper and wild. Yeah. I mean, as I say, it's all conspiracy theories. Yeah, but the way yeah, it's moving... That's what they accuse you of, but yeah. people say it's going to happen. I mean, there is pollution that's man-made. Yeah. There is. Yeah, of course. But... What do you do about it? The, you I mean, know, you don't the do this. Inside, yeah. So I've asked the sunflower. It's sad what's happening. No, no, what's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have it on? Was it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's on. Look. I'm coming out. I just want rid of Eulis. I don't want Eulis. It's simple as that. Eulis has nothing to do with it there. I'm going to give it to all 50. I'm going to glue all of them. That's what Lucy did. It's a bit of a And then it's three them. Yeah, he's not doing anything about that. So why is that? It's all about the money. It's got absolutely nothing to do with it there. What's that? It's this thing. Covering all the problems with you, Les. Thank you very much for what you're doing. <laughs> so there you go. You've met a bunch of conspiracy theorists and far-right lunatics. What did you think? Is Khan's description of these people accurate? So in the entire protest, I saw one guy that was a little bit out there, had a MAGA tattoo on his back. People tended to avoid him. But overwhelmingly, nice, peaceful protest with rational arguments. 
it's, it's just such a despicable thing to do. If we want to clean the air, we can clean the air, we can look at projects to do it, but don't do it at the expense of the most vulnerable. I mean, you can go to Paris, you can go to Copenhagen, you can go to Amsterdam, you can go to, you name it, <laughs> Madrid, Barcelona, you can go to all of these places and they have clean air zones, just like London but Euro 5 is allowed for diesel. Those vehicles are going to go out of date and they're going to disappear on their own. You are destroying people's livelihoods, you are destroying people's lives, you are causing depression, you are causing suicide. And for what? I mean, for a negligible improvement based on every single bit of scientific research. Right, so I'm off to Thorndon Park. And yes, so the public transport will take about an hour and a half. Walking is about two and a half hours, and then driving is 15 minutes. So that's your, your typical time difference. Uh, so what I think of the protest, it, it was quite sad to see. I mean, you know, you're, you're really limiting people's mobility. They will not be able to leave the house. They will not be able to have the quality of life that they deserve. I mean, wherever you stand about clean air zones or Labour versus Conservatives or what you think about the mayor, one thing is, is crystal clear that this policy is evil. I mean, you can learn a lot about a society by how they treat their elderly and how they treat their most vulnerable. And this is just not the way to handle it. This policy needs to be stopped. <laughs>